come to the fifth move um, of this sequence, um, again, let's get the names out of the way to start off with. Bending over to wag the tail to calm heart fire or swing head and tail to eliminate heart fire um, or snake head swing tail for short. Um, again, took from the eight brocades, the fifth move. Obviously, we go to the end of the eight and then we can add on another 18, just like a 26 form in all. Um, again, with you know, basically two, two forms together, basically. Um, it doesn't really matter, you can do these singly, because you do the breathing before each one. Um, so you can do these singly or not. Um, or you can do them in order, so it doesn't really matter there. With this one, um, this, within the eight brocades, the move, we're just taking it and we're putting it with the hypnotheric principles, or hypnotic principles, the breath, the yogic and the Pilates breath, all mixed into one. Um, so again, it's just basically breath synchronized movement, vinyasa in a way, uh, breath synchronized motion. Um, don't, don't get too caught up in it. Again, it is from a specific form, but we're just taking the motions. Because again, like with Pilates, for instance, you can take that into any move. Why should it just be the specific Pilates moves? And vice versa with other moves, yoga, etc. They're just different unions of your mind and body. So that's what they are. So with that, bending over to wag the tail is a really good spinal awareness one. That's why it really fits with a Pilates move, really. Um, and it's a really good one for spinal awareness, bearing up against gravity, that sort of stuff. Um, as with all these, they massage the organs in an internal manner. It's like an inside job with the breath, the motion, the movement. Um, again, but we're not gonna go with this traditional breathing, the breathing into the baby like a balloon, the meditative traditional way. I've done that in other videos. We're gonna go into the Pilates setup straight away. So we're gonna do that right now as we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. They go together anyway. You can't do one without the other. So basically I'm overemphasizing this. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine and just scoop out your abdominals, okay? Take that navel towards the spine. That's gonna allow you to breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, okay? If you get the two middle fingers touching underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, the breastbone, you can see what we call lateral facet breathing in Pilates. So as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, okay? That's gonna help you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. So just start with the Pilates breath, breathing in through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips. I just note as my shoulders are up, so I'm just letting them drop. And as you keep on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, you'll see this motion happening. Okay, or you'll feel that happening in these lower lobes of lungs. The fingers will be moving slightly like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Just adding width to the lungs as you breathe in and length to the out breath. As you exhale at the moment through pursed lips, the regular Pilates breath. Now by zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, you'll feel that support on the spine right now. As you do this right now, breathing through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips. So if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, lovely. So as you do that now, you'll feel that transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, the powerhouse, the girdle of strength, that powerhouse just supporting the spine in a Pilates manner, okay? Lovely. Also helps the extension force for lumbar thoracic fascia, the back of the corset. You don't have to know all these names, I'm just going through it a little bit of detail. The main thing here that's going to help us use our corset muscle, our transverse abdominus, in a most efficient manner by doing the opposite of the traditional breathing, the meditative breathing, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of lungs. There's nowhere else for it to go. So, as you keep breathing them fish gills, we get to close the mouth, and we just make a smaller filter through the nose right now. Okay, and that'll make that a little bit more yogic to start off with. Okay, that smaller filter through the nose will help us lengthen the breath. As within the, a lot of the yogic asanas, 
we lengthen the breath. That's like a tool. It's a bridge between the mind and the body. It's our gauge to see how deep we can get into the postures. The length of the breath, okay? Lovely. So that's just to start there. Lovely. So as you do that, breathing through the nose and exhaling out through the nose, you'll naturally feel that you want to allow the out breath to lengthen longer than the in breath. Just allow that to happen in a natural way and then become conscious of that and specifically elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay. So take your mind, be within the breath, within that lovely elongated out breath, which is longer than in breath. Okay. And as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, allowing your breath to come into them lower lobes of lungs, then fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep and allow the out-breath to lengthen longer than the in-breath, you can quadruple it, double it, triple it consciously longer than the in-breath. And that will give us, in a very sort of holistic way, a beneficial holistic way, will help us encourage and benefit the parasympathetic nervous system. All the things you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation will be benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Your autonomous nervous system being benefited, or the nervous system as a whole in general, but especially the housekeeping properties of the body are being benefited on a cellular scale, deep. Okay, again, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now. You're breathing through the nose and exhale through the nose for as long as you like without forcing anything, staying within your limits, okay, but just elongating that out breath for as long as you like, okay, and just feel them restful relaxation responses and endless dreams of comfort on that lovely elongated out breath, which is longer than the in breath. Just feel that lovely chemical cascade of relaxation happen as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now and elongate the out breath for as long as you like. Okay, lovely. So with that, you can stick with that. That hypnotic effect will come from elongating the out breath. Okay, and that yogic effect, okay, filtering the nose in or filter in the breath in and out through the nose. Now again, you can make that yogic breath slightly more advanced. If you can't get it, don't worry. Carry on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals right now. Breathing in through the nose, and we're gonna turn it into ujjayi breath, victorious breath. So we're gonna breathe in, we're gripping the esophagus, narrow that, and we're gonna breathe in. And you'll feel that soft, silky, whistling, sighing breath. Then we exhale. That raspy, silky, whistling breath, called Ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathe in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. And you can, as you can hear, you will feel the out breath go longer than the in breath as you're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and just gripping at that esophagus. If you can't get it, don't worry. If you can, then just stay with that. Otherwise, carry on breathing as you are. Elongating the out breath, longer than the in breath, even longer with the ujjayi breath, okay? Again, all the breath will be lengthened with that ujjayi breath because it's a smaller filter through the esophagus. You know, you're, you're constricting that area and making that sort of Darth Vader Soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath, seashore breathing. Okay, so again, as I demonstrate that again, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you're breathing through the nose. And exhaling. Sort of like going. 
with the mouth shut. Okay, it's like a sort of focusing breath. Again, it's a natural sort of focusing breath you'll do when you're doing a fine motor skill, like threading a needle is an example, something like that, banging an nail in, you might feel yourself doing that slightly. It's a natural focusing breath. It gives the mind something to focus on as you do that now. You'll be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, whether you're getting huge eye breath or not. Okay, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation of every single organ cell, sinew the body. These benefit separate organs in the traditional forms, but again, if you're breathing, no matter what way, you'll be benefiting every single organ, cell, sinew the body. As you do that right now, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, and elongating the out breath for as long as you like, allowing that simplicity just to relax the mind for as long as you like. Lovely. So that will stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps us weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire, burn all the toxins in the body. Lovely. As you zip up the pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, allowing that simplicity of elongating the out breath longer than the in breath, which is going to link that to motion. So as with all these, you can come in as deep as you like. Again, there's a bit of the beginning, optional. Again, you can push down, cause a little bit of traction in the spine. I've seen sort of this sort of thing going on. Sort of where we, if you first start, just start lengthening in sort of Alexander type method way, where you just push down and you cause traction up through the spine. At the moment, the shoulders will be up here. They'll be down in a minute, okay? But again, I wouldn't encourage this normally. We're just pushing down. And that's causing traction in the spine. Again, space between your vertebras, crowns come away from the torso. You can do this for a bit if you like at the beginning, just very gently in a micro movement, just nod the head. Imagine your spine lengthening. And then when you've done that for a while, we can just go in. Or you can leave that bit out. Now again, I'm just gonna demonstrate as we calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion. Just integrate the breath with the movement. You're stacking up these vertebras. Again, as with all body systems, can only go in as deep as you like. It's your union of your mind and body. So from here, horse riding stance, not Charlie Chaplin with the feet, we slide out of V. Again, push down, again, from here we cause that traction. And from here we're gonna take the Pilates breathing, the other way round from the traditional form. We're gonna breathe in, come back to here. If you want this pivot on the back foot, and we're gonna exhale the center. Uh, for as long as you like, okay? Again, you just rest the hands here, but again, you'll see the shoulders breathing in, coming up, exhaling for center, center for as long as you like. Breathing in, stack up these vertebras, these Lego bricks, these books. Again, if you want to put a little pivot on that foot, you can do. Zip up pelvic for all, scoop out abdominals, navel towards the spine. Exhale to center, breathing in, coming up. Shoulders over, hips and over shoulders. Lovely. Or you can do it the other way around, optional. Try it both ways. Again, this way you'll be breathing with the spine, that primal pattern of the body. Or you can do it the other way around. But again, see what suits you, see what feels better for your nervous system. Again, make these unique to you. So two hams, climb the back, strengthen the kidneys next. Number five, bang.